Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a character so that he can pick up an object and throw it. And what we end up with is something like this. There's this little tiny cube right there. And then he's going to pick it up and throw it. And he throws it so fast you really can't see it. But like if we come back, you can see it leaving his hand right there. You see it? So this is actually when you watch this video it might seem simple to do but it actually took several hours to get this just right and it was surprisingly frustrating but anyway i'll be back in just a minute okay i'm back and we're ready to get started on this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into window we're just in the third person template one thing that you'll need to do is download a mixmo character in t pose and then download a throwing object animation without skin that's all you got to do and i've already done that so i'm maybe one step ahead of you right now. So we're gonna go window, load layout, oop, load layout, default editor, and then we're just gonna go content drawer and dock and layout. And then we're gonna go content, and we're gonna go ahead and get those Mixamo characters. So I'm gonna import to game. I have them under downloads. Here's my T-Pose character, and I'm just gonna go open. Under advanced, we wanna make sure that we have used the reference T-Pose, or that our animations could be messed up if we don't. And close that make this window just a little bit bigger and now I'm just gonna go ahead and download that throw object FBX and it's already connected to the T pose and we just go import all and it just takes a minute to load that in because there's so much animation data in these it's incredible how much data is in just even a short animation and then what we can do is just grab our the character's called T pose and I'm just going to go ahead and drag him into the scene and that's that and I'll hit then we need we do need a object for him to throw so i'm just going to grab this static mesh cube over here drag it over kind of closer to him and i'll hit f and kind of get down there a little bit then i'm going to make this window a little bit bigger and under scale for the cube we're going to type in 0 0.04 tab 0 0.04 tab 0 0.04 tab and then we got to come down here a little bit and we got to turn off simulate physics if it's on and mass and turn that off too so we just want this to be a dead cube that's all we want it to be and this is really small and it fits in his hand very nicely so we could do a socket but this is so small it it won't even matter so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and create a cinematic sequence like this we're going to double click into it we're going to select the character in the scene we're going to go to track add t pose to scene it comes in with the transformation track we don't need it so we're going to just delete that then click this little plus sign and we'll add our animation so now if i drag the playhead you'll see we've got our throwing object animation here which is a real nice animation and then what we can do is we can go ahead and just tighten this up a little bit at the end there all right so now the next thing we want to do is just put this object in his hand at the point that he might be picking it up. So just use your judgment on this. There's a series of controls that we might use for this, but we're gonna go ahead and drag this playhead and try to figure out where and when he might be picking this up. So, oops. One thing I like to do is fly around the scene and slow down my camera a little bit. So I have a lot more control and here we go oh the other thing is let's turn off all the snappings on this thing because it ends up making it harder to adjust things and we want the finest degree of control i think the easiest way to do this is just put it like over the top of his hand like that where you see the shadow almost like that and then just bring it down like right like that I think that's the easiest thing to do, honestly. And like I said, it's so small that we don't need to do a socket for this, I don't think. Just trying to get under here to see where it's at. Let's try to make sure it's not colliding with anything. And like I said, a lot of this will be hidden by his hand itself. How are we doing here? I'm kind of all over the place right now. Kind of lose my bearings here a little bit. We'll have some overlap there, but like I said, it's so small. I think it'll be fine. Just so long as we can kind of see it in his hands. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's going to be fine. So just do your best on that. 
And once you've got that position where you think it should be, then what we're gonna do is add that cube. Make sure it's selected, and we're gonna go to track, add the sequencer, that cube. And then we have it all lined up where we think it should be. Now we're gonna attach it to his right hand. So we're gonna click here, go to attach, make sure preserve current is selected. You might have to come back in there, go attach, and then tie it to the character, the cube to the character, which is T-Pose. And then we're gonna tie it to his right hand, right there. And if we did everything right, we should be able to, he should be able, we should see him pick up that cube. So I'll hit here, I'll hit play. Let me get rid of, hit click G and get rid of these gizmos. And hit play, there he goes. And see, so it looks like he just threw it, but it's still in his hand. So what we want to do now is just get it out of his hand. But it's actually still in his hand, so if you come back, you'll see. He's got it in his hand. It's stuck in his hand. So all we have to do now is figure out the spot where we think he might release it. So we'll come here. It's like throwing a baseball. Maybe, maybe right there. He would release it. It's completely up to you where you think he might release it. I'm gonna say right there. So at the spot where you think he would release it, click here on the attach layer right click and go trim right and preserve and this there's an extra keyframe over here that's going to mess this up so just select that keyframe make sure you select it and delete it and what should happen now is it'll just hang in the air so we'll hit play he'll pick it up he'll throw it and it just hangs there in the air. So now all we have to do is go ahead and hit. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the playhead here to where he finishes this, the swing, pretty much, the throw, right? Maybe right there. And then what we're going to do is turn on auto keyframe, select the cube, and you can just get the green and drag it or just come over here on the green and just send it on its way. Just send it off like that to like 2,500 or something like that. And believe it or not, that's it. That's the whole thing. So if I hit play, you'll see he picks it. Oh, let me turn off the gizmos. You'll see he picks it up and he throws it. He throws it, <laughs> of course he's throwing it fast, right? So you might not think he threw it, but he did. See, see it go? It's cool, right? So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.